Hi guys, check out this awesome new light. So Stellar Pro make these powerful, compact LEDs that are designed for the on-the-go pro. And this line was launched by Light in Motion back in 2017. They're the ones that do that awesome rainbow at our show. I'm holding the newest Stellar Pro light and it's called the Reflex. So I'm going to introduce portrait artist Leon Johnson. He's a member of the Portrait Masters community and he loves shooting stellar lights. And today he's going to photograph Aphrodite using this light to show you how he does that. Thank you, Sue, for the introduction. I'm here today to introduce you to my style of portraiture, which is really art-inspired feminine portraiture that is inspired by paintings, sculptures, uh, drawings, things that you might find in an art gallery or in a museum. And so for this style of portraiture, one of the tools that I use is the Stella Pro Lights uh, Reflex S. So what's special about this light? Well, it's a continuous strobe hybrid. I mean, it's really cool that you can operate this light both as a continuous light and as a strobe. So it has a digital burst, which can burst at up to 20 frames per second. So what does that mean? Um, I use the Sony a7R III and it can fire at up to 10 frames per second. So what that means for a photographer is that if you're capturing motion, like dance, if you're capturing uh, sports, if you're capturing little kids, this is a great light because you can fire off this light as fast as you want to and not miss shots because, you're, because your strobe had to recharge. There's no recharge time with this. Um, I like this light also because of its size. I mean, it's really small. It's something that I can fit in my pocket or fit it, put in a bag and carry onto a plane and travel with. And that's really important to me. It's light and so you, your arm's not going to get tired raising and lowering this on a light stand. Let's jump into it. Uh, let me show you how I use this light in my style of portraiture. So for this first concept, what I've put together is I'm doing an art inspired portrait that is inspired by one of my favorite painters. His name is Theodore Chasserio. So right behind me here, I have the beautiful Aphrodite and I have already a Stella Reflex S already on a light stand so I don't have to put it up there. And let me roll right into it. All right. So today I'm using this at approximately 3,200 lumens. That's about a third of what it does uh, in, on AC power. Um, I'm using a backdrop here from Baby Dream Backdrops and I really love it because it's very much like the art inspired, the art that you see in magazines, I mean, I'm sorry, in museums and in galleries. Uh, I have a scrim right here. So the scrim is not real, it's adding a little bit of ambient, but really I'm just trying to block out a, a huge skylight here that is, uh, that's giving me this really harsh light. And so to be honest, in real usage, I like to use the Stella Pro Lights in a dimmer room, and I like to use the Stella as my primary light, even for the light that I'm using in the room. So um, I'm gonna add a beauty dish here. So the beauty dish I'm using here is a Camera beauty dish and I really like it because it folds up really easily. I can put it in the bag and I can put it into my suitcase. Uh, being able to travel with it is really important to me because uh, if I can travel with it then that means I can take it wherever I go and I don't have to worry about like you know taking like really heavy things and pardon the noise. You know. But what, what I really like, whenever I'm traveling, I love things that set up easily. And there you go, it's set up. I, I really like things that set up easily and I like things like with umbrella or like quick setups like this, okay? So I'm just gonna attach this to my light here. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna turn my light on. And so now I'm dialing it up to 3,100 lumens, okay? And that's plenty bright. So the camera that I'm using here today, I'm using a Sony a7R III, and I'm using an 85 millimeter lens because I like to use like one lens. It's either the 85 or the 50 for me, and just depending upon the amount of space that I have. So in this large studio, I can use 85. Now trust me, in my home, in my home studio, I also, 
use an 85 and a 50. And I think that my studio at home is about 12 feet by 20 feet, so it's not huge. Um, so I have the, the, let me talk about how I've positioned the light. So the light is probably just, the bottom of the light is just above her head and it's pointing down on her, okay? And I've already set it up with my camera and if, if I'm talking about my settings, right now I'm shooting at 1 one hundredth of a second at f2.8 and ISO 320, okay? All right, so one of the cool things about the Stella Pro Light is that it's really cool that you can see exactly what's going on with your lights as you're doing it. So imagine, of course, that if I had the light way up here, you know, I can see like, oh, I don't like this light because, you know, I want to get the light more so onto her face and see her catch light. So I'm going to bring the light down, okay? And now I can see, you can start to see how the light is coming into her eyes and you can also see that you're getting catch lights into her eyes. And usually that's what I'm looking for. It's important to me uh, how the light is hitting her, how it's hitting her collarbones, and also like the shadow that it's casting like underneath the nose uh, with the cheekbones and everything like that. Uh, but I really love that you can see exactly what you're getting because, I mean, it's very intuitive. So it's like you can, anyone can move the light around until they get the light right. And that's what I love about it. Okay, so today I'm going to be photographing Aphrodite, and I am going to get a couple of different compositions. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to get her from the top of her head to probably about midway down her dress, and then I'm going to get one from the top of her head probably to below her hands, and then I'm going to get a couple of shots that are going to be horizontal shots where I'm getting like, you know, probably midway up the corset and including the, of course, including the top of her head. So, <laughs> all right. So all right, here we go. Let's see. Okay. So Aphrodite, I'm going to have you stand up really tall and then just with the fingers, I'm going to have you just hold the fingers just like that. Beautiful. And then relax your shoulders. There you go. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, and then just bring the fingers into the hands a little bit. There you go. Uh huh. And then relax your shoulders. Let's see. Let's see. And give me very tall and regal. There you go. And then drop the chin just a bit. There you go. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to, I want to do a profile shot. So I'm going to turn you to the side and then have you look back over your shoulder like that. And then I'm going to rotate you this way just a bit right there. Uh huh. So what's really cool about this is I'm using eye autofocus. And so when you're using like a mirrorless camera with a continuous light, uh, it's really cool because what you see is what you get. And so I can look into my viewfinder and know reliably that the way that I'm seeing her right now is exactly how I'm gonna shoot her and exactly how I'm gonna capture it in my camera. And that's like gold. So what I'm getting now is like, uh, a horizontal shot because I like the composition just from like the head to right probably right to where the waist is. Let's see, beautiful. And then bring the elbows forward just a little bit. Okay. Okay. And so Aphrodite, what I'm gonna have you here is just like cycle through some of your own poses. Okay. And then like, I'll, I'll stop you and say something and, and you don't have to wait for me to move. Okay. I think for this shot, let me grab a stool and I'm gonna get some higher shots. Okay. All right. Okay, and then just pose. Okay, so for the pose, I'm just gonna have you turn a little bit this way for me. Okay, just like that, huh? Nice and tall, and then bring the hands up to the, like, there. And then maybe just bring one over like this, or to the opposite side, okay? And then bring it down. And then the other, just put the hand here, and then turn the fingers up like that. You know, just like you're playing, as if you're playing a little piano on your forearm there, okay? And then with your eyes, I want you to look right here with your eyes, but then really make your eyes really soft as if you're tired. Beautiful. 
wonderful. And then turn your face and bring your chin around to me and let me see your face. Beautiful. And then look past your shoulder, but then the eyes up. There you go. And then bring the eyes to about right there. Right there. Right there, there you go. Uh-huh. Okay, and stay there. Okay, I'm really loving what I'm getting here. Uh, so for our second concept, I'm going to actually, I'm going to move from a beauty dish to a soft box and show you how I get like a, how I achieve like a really soft light to get kind of like a more painterly look. Okay guys, so for this next concept, what I've done is I've set up something which is more my traditional style, which is the very, you know, painterly color harmony look. And so we have a, a skirt, which is probably, let's see, what color would I say? That's probably like a mustard almost looking skirt. And I have a beautiful corset on Aphrodite. And we have a backdrop that's also in that same family of color. So that's gonna really help me to produce a very painterly look. So conditions right now here in Sue's studio is that it's about high noon and so there's a lot of light coming from an awful skylight above. And so what we've done is that we've, um, we've put a scrim here. So one to kind of block that light, but also it's kind of giving us a diffuse ambient light. Okay, so let me talk about my setup here. I'm gonna turn this light on and what I have here is a Chimera 36 inch softbox. And just so you can see the difference in, this is off and voila, da 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 da. So now we have a beautiful soft light on her. And so by pointing, by feathering the light, we are we're making it softer. Now I'm gonna show you what's going on with this V flat here. So with this V flat, I have a V flat with the white side pointing towards Aphrodite. And the way that I usually will move it is I'll move this and then as I'm looking, because I'm using constant light, as I'm moving the V-flat, I can see how the light is affecting her. And so what I'm really doing with this is I'm making sure that I reduce the shadows. Like I don't like really deep shadows. I like for them to be soft shadows. So the V-flat is taking some of the light from this light here and bouncing it back into her shadows and creating a very angelic look. Okay? And let me fix that just a bit. Beautiful. There we go. And with no further ado, let's get started. All right. So if you'll stand very nice and tall for me. And give me, let's do the fingers here. Now, I wish I had a harp or something to give you in your hands. Let's see. Okay. Nice and long neck. Okay. And then chin down a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And so let me talk about my settings here. I'm using a Sony a7R III, uh, 1 200th of a second, f1.4, and ISO 100, okay? And if anyone is interested, my light is currently at 20, 2,500 lumens. So on AC power, I can, I can push that up to 9,000 lumens, but I'm using it at about 2,500, okay? Beautiful, nice and long neck for me again. And then I want you to turn your head slightly towards the light and then the eyes up just a bit. There, or, but bring the eyes back over here, there you go, just like that. So one of the points that I just kind of did with her, I wanna show you guys, uh, put your eyes back where they were before. And so like what I wanna do is when they turn, when you have your subject turn their eyes really far away from the direction that their nose is pointing, then you get the whites of their eyes. But then, like I'll usually tell a person, look at what your nose is pointing at and look at that thing. And now you actually get the real color in her eyes versus the whites of her eyes. Because if you get the whites of her eyes, it's like, what's that? You don't want that in your shot. So give me back there and like looking away again. Okay, beautiful. Okay. And this is really like, you know, the classical por classic portraiture look that I'm going for. Okay, and right now I'm at f1.4, so what, a lot of people are not used to shooting like wide open. Uh, you could shoot at 1.4, 1 1.8, 1 1.4, 1.8, 2.8 if you like. Um, 
One of the benefits to wide open is that I'm going to get her entire face and the corset in sharp focus. But then as we go towards her rear, like, you know, going towards like the shoulders and off of that same focal plane as her face, you'll get a softening of the skin. So her skin will look really nice, soft and painterly. And then I'm going to bring you forward a bit like this and then turn you towards the light here and then bring your chin back towards me. Beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to turn you back towards me and away from the light here. And then I'm going to open, have you open up with your feet. Turn with your feet, there you go, right there. And then bring your chin all the way towards me. Okay. And then bring the chin up, there you go. And so I, I have Aphrodite like raising her chin and that gives her more of a regal stature. And so bring the chin up again and then bring it back down. Let me see. Okay. And so you can see the difference, you know, and it's just, you know, you have to think about what, which expression you're going for and just raising the lowering of the chin will change the expression and what, and what mood you're going for in your shot. Okay. And I'm going to bring you just straight towards me and, and then maybe put one hand on the collarbone or the other hand and then turn the face toward to light, the, towards the light, okay? And so bringing her right into the light like that, this is also a great shot for like if you're creating a black and white because you're going to have a really strong highlight on the face and it's going to look beautiful for like if you want to create black and white for it. And then the same pose, looking off. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so what I want to do here is, uh, Jalea, if we can bring that necklace in, what I'm going to do here is add, or I'm going to take away our tiara, and I'm going to add a necklace to, uh, to Aphrodite. So now that she has this on, I really like the effect and like how it just brings some attention and it looks really beautiful on her skin. I'm gonna show how I shoot it. And basically, I'm gonna have you kind of like nice and tall and then looking off, like wilting off, okay? Let's see. Okay. And with something like this, I love getting like close-up shots as well. And then if you can bring the hand, this one up, and then touch the opposite side, maybe the bauble, just right underneath it, and then bring it back towards you, like, uh -huh. there you go. Okay. And then bring the face like this and look down. What? Bring it here to me, and then look the eyes down like that, bring them up here, there you go. Beautiful. Okay, and then so nice and tall, th look the way that you were looking before. And so I'm going to bring the face this way just so that she's having this is kind of like a highlight. And so as you guys can see, like I don't know if you can see the um, barn doors and the light that we have up here, but that's acting as a hair light because a lot of times when I'm shooting, I want to be able to see some of the details in their hair. And like we've have, we have like a beautiful braid going on. And so a lot of times if you don't have light on the head, you'll lose some of that detail in shadow. Okay. And then bring the elbows in and bring them close to you like that. Uh -huh. And then bring the chin back around here like this, and then just like, you know, look off. There you go. And this hand here, just bring it in. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And this hand here, bring it, and then just like bring that index finger out like that. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And then same thing, but then bring the chin up and the eyes up. There you go.
There you go. Nice and long neck there. Okay, chin down. Or just like some is someone is this someone that's pulling you up by a string? There you go, long neck. And then and then turn the chin this way a little bit like that, and then chin down a little bit, but then eyes back towards me. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Really love what I'm getting here. For our next concept, uh, I'm actually going to show you the burst function of the Reflex S, and it's going to be amazing. So in that next concept, the digital burst, we're going to do it like at a high rate of speed, and you can see some of the variation that we're getting. It's going to be fun. Hey, guys. Okay, so for this next concept, this is what I consider kind of like a backlit black and white image. So this produces a beautiful backlit, intimate light. And this is really cool for showing details, for showing movement. And so with this, I have Af the beautiful Aphrodite. And so if you'll hold your arms out, they can see that this is just a dress that I had made and it's made just from poly chiffon and just kind of like show it. And it's a, it's a little bit sheer. And so the sheerness will allow the light to pass through the dress and give, and give her a sort of silhouette. So let me talk about my setup here. <clears throat> so for my scrim, I'm actually using just a standard shower curtain from Amazon.com. This one here is uh, six by eight foot. And if you can see the little uh, wrinkles in the shower curtain is straight out of the bag. And when you look at it in post, they're really easy to get out, but you really won't see them because of the brightness of the light. Okay, and so I'm gonna walk behind here and what I have, the setup that I have here, I have two Stella Reflex X's, Re Reflex S's, and I have the first one here pointed down, so that, that will have the light about center mass with Aphrodite, and the second one here I have pointed at this V-flat. So for this second one here, it's pointing to the V-flat, and what it's going to do, the light's going to hit this V-flat and bounce back onto her and provide like a highlight on the camera right side of her face and body. And it's gonna give, make the light a little bit more directional. Now, you could actually do it without this one, uh, without the second light. You could actually add a black V-flat to the camera left side if you wish to make your shadows deeper. So that, those are just some options here. And like my settings right now, I'm shooting at one, one sixtieth of a second, F5, and ISO 1000, okay? And I could easily go up or down with that. I can, if I go up to F8, I'm gonna create a more moody and darker image. I could go down to F1.4, and with that I would also have to bring my ISO in a little bit so that she's not too bright, but that will give it a very angelic and halo-y type of look. So when I'm shooting this, so basically what we're getting, what we're gonna get from this is, like I said, it's gonna be a backlit black and white. It's very intimate light. Uh, it looks really cool. Uh, I like to shoot, as far as my camera settings, I actually like to shoot it in black and white. Like I'll change my camera setting to black and white. I'm still shooting in RAW, but my camera will write both RAW and JPEG at the same time. So let's go ahead and Aphrodite, I'm gonna have you uh, bring your arms out like this and then turn your face towards the V flat, okay? And so what I'm getting here are some of the detail shots. Oops. And so what, what I want to emphasize here is that you really want to think about giving your client variety. You want to make sure that um, you're shooting like, you know, some in vertical orientation and some in horizontal. So we'll go back to the same. Okay. 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 And then I'm going to have you turn towards the V flat here and then open up just a bit on the side. Okay. And then turn the face here. Okay. And here I'm actually focusing on her fingers. And then bring your chin down, and then with the eyes, turn the face that way. And so I'm focusing on the fingers, but I'm including the lips in the, in the shot. And then I'm gonna just open up and then shoot a vertical. And I'm getting from the top of her head, probably down to below her elbows here. Okay, and now I'm gonna move back and take some more of the full body and, and most of her body shots. Okay. So first of all, I'm gonna bring your arms spread out just like that again, and then we're gonna position the knees like so, okay? And then turn the face that way, okay? And then move just a little bit to the right here. 
There you go. Uh -huh. Okay, beautiful. And then touch your shoulders for me. Okay. And then I'm going to turn you towards the light. I'm going to have you turn your hips towards the light and then bring your hands up and then like that. Okay. And then I'm going to have you reverse your fingers and then bring your fingers out like that. Uh -huh. And then that second hand, I'm going to have you bring back just a little bit so we can see the light like going through the dress there. I usually bring that hand out so that we can get some of the light through the dress. Okay. And then let's see. I'm going to have you turn like this and bring your hands out like this. Okay. And then we're going to give, we're going to hold the dress like here and then just bring it out like this and then turn and kind of leaning and wilting towards the light. Okay. Beautiful. I love that. One, one more. Okay. And then I'm going to, let's throw it. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys the continuous uh, I'm, I'm going to show you the digital burst feature of the light. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch my camera into a continuous shooting mode. So this is for me, for the A7R3, that's high plus, And it's going to be firing at a rate of 10 frames per second. Okay. And it's going to capture all of this movement. Okay. So are you ready? And so that's, that's all, you know, I have this in high speed sync. And like I said, I'm shooting at only 1 60th of a second, but I could easily go above 200 or 250th because this camera also can operate in high speed sync. Okay, so are you ready, Aphrodite? One, two, and three. Beautiful, okay. And now I'm gonna actually have you throw it up in the air, okay? To the side, just like that. And we're gonna also make sure we pose the, the yeah, like that, uh-huh. And then the face turned that way. Ready? One, two, and three. Beautiful. Do it, do it a little bit faster where your, arm, where your throat and your arms are up like that. Okay. And the legs. Okay. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, Aphrodite. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to have you, um, so with this, I'm going to have you do a spin. And that's really cool to use with the digital burst uh, function of the light. So. I'm going to have you spin with one hand up, or like this hand up and this one down. And then I'm going to just have you spin just like Julie Andrews, OK? Sound of music. OK, you ready? One, two, and three. Really fast, really fast. Beautiful, OK? And now do the same thing with just holding it out and spinning. You ready? One, two, and three. Beautiful chin up. Let's try it again one more time with the chin up. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Wow. I'm really loving what I'm getting here. Okay, so just to recap what we've done today, we used the Stella Reflex S in three different concepts and three different scenarios. The first scenario, we used it in a beauty dish with the beautiful Baby Dream backdrops, uh, backdrop, and that created a very beautiful romantic light on our subject. Uh, it's best for use with one subject. You could probably get up to three. Uh, using that type of light. Uh, the second concept, we actually put it in a 36 inch soft box and we bounced it off of a flat to create a beautiful soft light on our subject. And we added a hair light and barn doors to, uh, to, to add more detail to the hair. Uh, what's also important, we use those, bound, those barn doors to prevent the light from spilling onto the backdrop. In our most recent concept here, we actually used two Stella reflex S's and we used one behind a, uh, a scrim, in this case, a shower curtain that we just got out of the bag today. It's something that's attainable by everybody. Um, and we used the second one to create a, a highlight on the camera right side of our subject. Uh, just, in, just in summary, I really love the Stella Reflex S. It's something that is very useful for me for producing my painterly and uh, art inspired images as well as when I'm creating video as you see here. Um, it's really portable. I mean, I can take this light and take it on an airplane with me. I can put it in a bag and it actually weighs less than my camera. So for, for those who have to walk on location with the light, I think it's perfect when you use it in conjunction with the battery pack.
What I really love about this light is that it really works for whatever situation that I want to use it for. I mean, I'm a very simple guy. I, I, most of my work is one light, but I know that if I want to go out and capture ballet, sports, uh, little kids, I know that I can use a light that, you know, that will shoot at a high frame rate without having to recharge and it has the power output that I need in order to get the images that I need.